YSL was hit with a 56 count RICO indictment. One of those members was Gunna. He was hit with one count of racketeering. That's five years to 20 years in prison, which means he had about four years to go and with time served and good behavior, maybe two. Which brings me to point number one of seven, Tenquarius Mender, known as Nard and Durante Bebe. They were offered the same deal as Gunna and declined it, facing 50 years, mandatory if convicted. Young Thug's sister unfollows Gunna on Instagram. Now in real life, this is something that's petty and worthy to be ignored, but in this case, that's different because Thug cannot speak publicly about his position or where he stands with Gunna's actions. So Young Thug's sister, who we know has open communication with Thug, unfollowing Gunna is a sign of where Thug stands. Which leads me to point seven. Lil Baby. Lil Baby understands his reach as an international superstar and a move like unfollowing Gunna is definitely a public statement. Thug is in a sensitive situation and can't say much, but he's communicating to the public through his people. And what is he saying? I'm done with Gunna.